Hello, in this video, we are going to mention age estimation and we are going to use deep face library because it comes with a strong facial attribute analyze module. It covers age, gender, emotion and race prediction tasks. For beginning, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your all support in advance. If you are going to use deep face first time, please run pip install deepface command to install the library itself and its prerequisites. I'm going to import the library from deepface, import deepface. Here the first letters of deep and face should be uppercase. Then here I'm going to define the image path variable and it's going to be image1.jpg. By the way, this is the image we are going to analyze it's the young audrey hepburn it seems she's early 20s deep face offers a analyze function in its interface and it expects image path as input it's going to be image1.jpg we defined a line before besides analyze function expects a actions argument optionally by default it's going to analyze emotion age gender and race but in this task we are going to just analyze age that's why i'm going to define the actions argument as age let's set the return object of the analyze function to the object variable and run this command analyze function is over and let's see the content of the object variable it returns the facial area coordinates in the region k and apparent h in the hk we can just access the h with the hk here it returns 22 let's run this experiment with a different sample here we can find an another picture of og hepburn she was older in this picture i'm going to change the content of image path variable from image1.jpg to image2.jpg and run analyze function again and let's see the apparent edge prediction of image2.jpg it says it's 43 let's discuss how this apparent edge prediction is made here we are going to call the face that build model function and here we are going to pass the h argument as input and this is going to be my h prediction model h prediction model is mainly based on vgg face model we can check it with model dot summary function it expects 224 times 224 shaped inputs that's the exact shape of the vgg face model but the output shape of this age prediction model is different than the regular vgg face model the regular vgg face model has 2622 shaped outputs whereas this age prediction model has 100 bump shaped outputs we are going to pass our input image to this age prediction model but before that we need to apply pre-processing states including detection and alignment we need to import an additional model of deep face from deep face that comes and import its functions module and here we are going to call functions that pre-process face and pass image path as input argument this, this function uh, expects an additional detector backend and its default value is OpenCV. Here we are going to pass empty Sienna because it's more robust detector. And this function is going to return the input image. Let's check the content of image. It's exactly the same size with the expected input size of the vgg face model you can see the content of image with importing matplotlib library import matplotlib.pyplot as plt 
and here I'm going to call pl2.imshow function and pass image as input. It returns a exception because uh, image is four dimensional array. We actually need three dimensional inputs. That's the content of image object. That's in blue because OpenCV reads an image in the worst direction of the RGB. We can handle this just like that. This is detected and aligned version of the image2.jpg. Now I'm going to call model.predict function and pass image as input. And this is going to be the h probabilities. Let's see the h probas. It's actually an array and let's see the its shape. It's 100, one shaped vector. In a regular classification task, we actually need to find the maximum one in the uh, H probabilities. That's why here I'm going to import NumPy. And I need to find the NumPy that find its maximum argument of the H probabilities. But H probabilities has a dimension. That's why here I'm going to pass its zero index value. But in apparent H prediction approach, those are the probabilities of each H. For example, this is the probability of the uh, H is equal to zero. And this is equal to H is equal to one. And this is equal to H is equal to 101. This approach propose you to multiply those probabilities with its H. I mean that multiply this one with zero, multiply this one with one and multiply this one with 101. To find the apparent H here, I'm going to create an argument, create a variable apparent H and its initial value is going to be zero. Then I'm going to build a for loop for I in range from 0 to 101 and here I'm going to get the 0 index value of the H probabilities and here I'm going to get its I index value and multiply this one to I and append its content to apparent H And now we can see the apparent age at 43, different than the, uh, this one. It's very close, but different. What if I test this block for the image1.jpg? Here I'm going to uh, pre-process this image1.jpg and its shape is expected. This is the detected and aligned version of image one which probabilities are found at shape as expected those are the probabilities let's find the maximum one 23 but at a point h is less than the maximum argument so we have mentioned how to apply a print age prediction with deep face library with a single line of code but we also mentioned the logic behind it if you enjoyed the video please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for your all support in advance and finally thank you all for watching and see you next time